All right, I'm gonna walk us through how to use the shot group calculator in the long shot app. So we're here on the range, we've got a camera down range giving us this real time live video feed, great picture. So to start, we're gonna go in the top right corner of the screen, the three lines, and in the bottom right third of the screen is what looks like a calculator or a ruler. And click that. This is our menu bar for the shot group calculator. So when we're gonna turn that on, it's gonna ask us for some pieces of information it's gonna to use to measure. So it's important that you have the right reference size. So this is a 12 inch target at 100 yards. And this is important because it tells us what type of output units we want to be looking at. So uh, I like to use inches and because this reticle I'm using is MOA, we're going to use that. And then as you go further, it's going to tell you, give you the option for group width and height, what, uh, what type of measurement you want that in. And then the adjustment to zero, which is super important because that's what's going to actually walk you up. So when you start uh, throwing rounds down range, it gives you a real time feed. So we're gonna X out of that. And now what's great about this, you can zoom in. So in the bottom middle of the screen, it's gonna ask you for a reference point one. So this is calibrating the calculator. So we're gonna tap the left hand side of whatever we're measuring. Then if you look back reference point two, it wants to know the other side. So we're gonna simply tap the right side of that. And then this is probably the most important part because you don't always have to aim at the center. The third option is to set the point of aim. So we can use the ability to zoom in. Then we can mark exactly in that bullseye where we want, make sure our reference sizing is right when now we start the calculator. So I'm gonna throw a couple down. We'll see what type of adjustments we get in real time. Okay, so we just sent one down here. Now we're gonna simply click that and now if you look up in the top middle of the screen it's going to give us a real time adjustment to center now this is super important and really beneficial if you're doing single shot groups because it doesn't move the group it's moving the actual individual around so we're going to take we're going to go up two and a third minutes and we're going to send another one let's see if those adjustments were good Now that's pretty darn close. So what we can do is let's change colors. And so now when we click that group, it's gonna give us a more real time. So let's just go up a quarter minute. Let's send another one and see if our wind kicked up a little bit. So now we can go in there, we can switch to a different color, and now we can see, probably go back down to where we were, and then we'll leave it at that. But a great way to expand on, you know, not just wasting, wasting ammo, not having to go down and actually measure it, uh, all from the comfort of the shooting position. So we've been doing individual groups here. So let's just play off our last shot, which is this green one here. Let's send a couple more and then I'll show you how the extreme spread portion of the calculator works. Okay, so now we can go in here and when we map that new group, so now it's, now it's telling us our extreme spread. So let's send another one and see All right, so we can tighten it up a little bit. So we go in there and mark it. Now, as all this gets tight, you can go in here and where it says zero adjust, you click that button and now it's gonna hide that, that uh, extreme spread center. So now you can not muddy up your, your data. So simply you can go in there and mark it again. And so now we've got 
we've got our group and we can hit the zero adjust again and now we can see where the center point of that group is. Now utilizing this to its fullest so let's take that four shot group let's tap the actual green icon in the bottom and now we're getting that actual data all in a card so if you hold that you can pull it over to actually take screenshots record so instead of going down range and actually writing in what bullet information you have if you double click it you can add notes and then you can have all that information built in where you can save it take pictures and now you click it again so now i've got the note right next to the target and i still have not left the shooting position and i can fire up another group take a picture move on to the next one same with the blue group i can click that add notes bring that up save it now if we hold it down now we can see what that group did in comparison and have it all right there for a screen picture to save in your photo albums and we're going to take a photo by clicking this orange square button here click that and it's going to save in our gallery so we can go back we can export it we can airdrop it and get it on any device or send it out to anybody we need